forecast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Weather from where you live. You know, we may be done with the killing frosts and freezes with temperatures below 30, but I guarantee you Mother Nature still has a few light freezes and frosts up her sleeve. And in fact, by this weekend, we'll see some areas of frost develop as temperatures drop into the 30s. But let's focus on the good news for now. Uh, we've got a warm front beginning to edge off to the northeast. This is the dry front that came through last night, brought a shift to the wind, and just slightly cooler weather for this afternoon. But this is a, a ring of fire type pattern. A lot of times in the summer, when you have a big ridge of high pressure in the Midwest, a big heat wave, if you will, clusters of severe storms will form on the periphery. Now, uh, some of these storms have been severe in Iowa and Minnesota tonight, blowing up right here. And just right on the periphery of this ridge, we've had a few showers and storms. No rain in our forecast, but that shows you how unusual this pattern is. As very warm air arrives and a pretty dry air mass will lead to temperatures in the 80s for most of the upcoming week. And there will be an elevated brush fire risk as well. So keep that in mind. The earliest potential of any thunderstorm still appears to be evolving late Friday evening end of Friday night, but then by the weekend, uh, at least some areas of frost developing Saturday and Sunday night. And then after that, we may get into kind of a rainy and cool pattern with a lot of highs in the 50s coming up by next week. We'll have that graphically coming up. But in the meantime, tonight, though, coolest readings over the northeast with 44 Rochester and Winnemac, 45 Logansport, 48 in Lafayette, but low 50s pence down to Perrysville and 48 at Remington. Nice warm day tomorrow. Again, the cooler readings in the northeast as the warm front retreats. 70 in Rochester, 73 in Peru. But at Lafayette Battleground towards Attica, Vetersburg, and Pence, you'll be 80 or 81 degrees. 79 in Fowler, 78 in Monticello, down to Frankfurt and Colfax, and even warmer on Wednesday. In fact, pretty much the entire area, 80 or above, 81 Logans for 83 at Burlington, 84 from Lafayette down to Perrysville, 79 Peru and Rochester. The warm air just keeps on coming. We'll be in the low 80s on Thursday, but a lot of uh, prairie fires burning here in Kansas, giving this kind of a smoky, hazy atmosphere. Same thing on Friday, a weakening band of showers and thunderstorms will pass Friday night. I don't see a severe threat as of right now, but much cooler at 58 Saturday. Saturday, Sunday night, frost. A freeze up towards Rochester and Peru. Otherwise, areas of frost across the viewing area. And check it out. Kind of a rainy, cool pattern next week with highs 55 to 60 degrees. 47 tonight, though. Uh, a few clouds, a bit cool. 80 tomorrow, mostly sunny, rather breezy out of the southwest. And very warm as we get into Wednesday. 84 for the high temperature. We'll be in the low 80s Thursday into Friday. Again, late Friday evening, Friday night. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some frost, though, by the weekend, and a cool rain next week. Pollen's still going to be so bad. Pollen's going to be terrible this week. Uh, again, probably one of the worst weeks.